Well, hello everyone, I'm Darth Browner, and welcome to the first part of my Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker playthrough. Now, let's get on with the show, shall we? I'm using the game card. Okay, what should we call ourselves? I'm thinking... What about... Browner. I really like the Wind Waker, so I've wanted to do this game for a while. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength and his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. I wonder who that could be. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand... Oh, you gotta love that remix to the Zelda theme. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who travelled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then a day came when a foul wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would come again to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Damn this game that's gorgeous. Big Brother! Big Brother! Big 
Big Brother. I knew you'd be here. This is my favourite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the girls, I call it Arrow's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. Should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? I think that's a good idea. Let's go! Whee! Yeah, I'm going to swim along. Because, what the hell? I haven't played this in years. I do want to give a shout out to my buddy on Instagram, Alex the Moblin, as I was struggling to decide which Zelda game to play for the channel, and it was his suggestion I should do this. So, massive shout out to my buddy for uh, helping me decide and giving me the all important decision. So, um,. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be playing this. And I'm glad that he was suggested it because, quite frankly, this is a really good game. So, um, give his Instagram page a follow. The link to his page is on the description of this very, very video. Is this a house? No. Oh, yeah, it is? Yeah. I've been waiting for you, Browner. Hi. Browner, try these all. Time 35. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. It like might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this is the day of boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the same ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But are the ways of peace. Still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall is decoration. Is another tradition that's been carried down from those days. <laughs> Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Brown? That they suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favourite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister, Arrow. Let's go get Arrow. She should be at the lookout, I'll get margin.
There <laughs> she is. Ahoy, big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? Look, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. <coughs> I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Browner, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I need to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You've got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to the Y, X, or R and use it by pressing whichever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can say. Using the gamepad, you can touch inside items to see them. If I want that, is, I prefer just these buttons. Yeah, I'm zooming in. Yes, I am using it. He does look kind of weird. Oh my goodness, that's quite an evil looking bird. It's terrible, that girl fell into the forest, she needs help. Oh, I know she does. It's dangerous for you to go in there without the door you can use to defend yourself with. Oh, I think I know what we're going to do. Well, that's the training over. And yes, it sets a certain anxiousness in the sword. You hold an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded in the fields of battle. I don't know what's happened. But I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Brown. I'll give it freely. Take the blade with you. I've got the hero sword. Since the olden days, this sword's been used to fend off evil. This blade is infused with desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Brown. Not for those who are nervous of like oh my goodness, oh bloody hell. Oh bloody what's that breath? In we go. Goblin. There you go. We need all the dollar we can get because we need that eventually. Oh, damn, you're only with a pickle, aren't you, Missy? 
Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Wow, what's with that get at? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Uh, that's right, the giant bird came and. Miss! Miss Tetra! <clears throat> Oh, thank goodness, you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you... Summit? That bird dropped me on top of the mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there, let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on. Charm him. Hey, big brother! Okay, get a hold of yourself. She's gone. Nothing you can do. <laughs> what? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what we were asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates. The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some help this little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know you must feel with your sister. I've been kidnapped and all. Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, 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 whoa there. Just for you. Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time travelling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately? <laughs> no matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. The young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. Unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who has just been kidnapped from this island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Brown here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Browner's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Browner a little help now, would it? <laughs> I didn't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, Lately I've heard nothing but evil rumours about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, that's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you can use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? I'll tell you what, if you come back with something like that... I'll tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on the ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better say, go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me.
What is it? Well, then please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Iro? Is she still playing outside with the girls? What you're looking for? Take it with you. I've got the hero shield. I guess it's true. Arrow really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? And a monster could taste such a sweet young child. This is really sad. Oh, oh, oh. decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Can I get splinters and cry? She's charming, isn't she? Well, whatever. If you're ready, let's go. You ready? Yeah, how about it? Let's go. Good luck, Browner. Good luck, Funny Arrow. Take care of yourself. Oh, oh they've got hit in the fields. Do you think? Do you have an estimate? You sure, you shouldn't just quit right now. Seriously, think about it. I tell you, just just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. Still time, you know. You sure you we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Well, that's where we're going to end today's video. This has been Darth Browner. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now, everyone. Bye.